Good morning, gentle friends. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. So this morning, well, let me start with this afternoon. I am going to do some drunken clams in the Instant Pot. And I, I was going through the freezer looking for something, and I found a bag of clams in the shell that I had bought and put in the freezer the last time I went to my international market. And I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. So I found a great, pretty straightforward recipe for a butter, garlic, and white wine drunken clam sauce. And I'm gonna do that in the Instant Pot. And with that, I'm gonna do a little rainbow slaw. So I'm gonna prep that now so that it has time to sort of flavor up a bit. And that is just purple cabbage, savoy cabbage, carrot, and in my case, I'm gonna add some edamame. And then I have normal mayonnaise, 2% yogurt, some lime pulp and lime juice from those limes that I did, and some sugar. <clears throat> so that is going to make my slaw base. While that is going, or while that's doing its thing, and while my clams are thawing, I'm going to have a little cottage cheese toast for breakfast. So I'm going to do two slices of Ezekiel bread, some cottage cheese, some tomato, and some everything bagel seasoning, which apparently I have left on the shelf. Now, nothing to show you on that. That's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, I will show you what I'm doing with the drunken clams when we get there, but that will be in just a little bit. Welcome back for drunken clam lunch. <laughs> so here's what I found in my freezer. I had bought a bag of frozen clams and they are one and a quarter or almost one and a half pounds of raw clams before being boiled and basically what i did now these particular ones are just clams in salt water that was that was it and they give you a couple of different ideas of different ways that you can cook them what i'm gonna do is do them in my instant pot and now when I thawed out the clams, some of them opened because I used hot water, which I shouldn't have done. It's not going to hurt anything, but they are completely thawed now. And that means the cook time on them is one minute. And what I'm going to do, I've seen a lot of different ways. A lot of people put them in a steamer basket and actually steam them sort of open in the Instant Pot, but I did find the recipe that I'm doing the adaptation of, which is going to cook them in this broth that we're going to make. And that is done with chicken stock. So this is my chicken bone broth that I made uh, last week and some white wine, some garlic. You can use lemon or lime juice. I'm actually going to use some of the lime pulp that I have and then some garlic butter. You could put that over anything in terms of like, you could do it on fettuccine, you could do it, um, it, you know, on rice or whatever you want. I'm not going to have it on anything. I'm just going to have a bowl of clams with the broth and I'm going to put some peas and some tomatoes in there. And then I have that slaw that I made earlier, which I'm going to have as my side dish for that. So all I need to do is put my, I'm going to smash the garlic cloves and then put my stock wine, lime, and butter in the Instant Pot, put the clams in there, and then I'm going to set that on high pressure for one minute. So that was pretty much... Ugh. I ate my clams. I think they have been in the freezer for a while. And then I thawed them too quickly. You're supposed to thaw them in the refrigerator at a cool temperature. And I used hot water to thaw them. So they were already slightly cooked. And then 
you know, I cooked them some more. So texturally, they weren't particularly nice. But <clears throat> that broth, I think I overestimated the the wine part of it and I didn't cook it off like the recipe says to start with and it just mm -mm. I mean I like wine and seafood but I don't drink and I found it very almost bitter um yeah so I'm gonna have to adjust my tracking because I picked out my vegetables and I ate my clams but I'm not a fan of the broth, and so, mm -mm. no thank you. Hey guys, okay, welcome back to dinner. I started feeling rough a couple of hours ago, like ice pick behind my eyes and my hands and feet are really bothering me, and I couldn't work out. I mean, nothing, nothing happened, really. Um, but then I checked the weather. <laughs> and we've got another storm front on the way. It's supposed to be here in about hmm, three hours, maybe. So dinner is going to be super simple. Like, four ingredients simple. <laughs> and if I don't do it now, then... I'm not going to do it at all because this is a pretty quick spiral of, uh, of not feeling well. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I have some brown rice noodles and these are literally just brown rice flour and water. They're the same points as any other pasta. It's about 200 calories for two ounces. And I had thawed out, some ground beef uh, sirloin strips. These came in one of my Home Chef boxes. I'm not quite sure how wide they are. Um, I don't know. But they're strips. We'll see. And then I'm just going to use some stir-fry veggies. I'm just going to take the sauce pack out of there and use that just exactly as it is and I had found a Cantonese beef stew now originally this sauce was for the slow cooker I'm not gonna do that but uh, I was just trying to there we go there's several ingredients but no natural flavors no sodium benzate no potassium sorbate no you know stuff like that in there it is 60 calories for a fifth of the package, so that makes it 300 calories for the whole package. And I am going to open it, taste it, and as long as I like it, which it I should, then I think I'm probably going to use about half the package. That's going to be dinner. And then I think, that even though, because I adjusted my lunch, I'm going to be really under- on calories I think I'm done I think I'm going to eat and then do some Netflix and chill so nothing really to show you cooking wise I'm gonna cook the noodles cook that in the pan with the sauce assuming that I like it and uh, steam up some veg and then that's it all done Hello, my darling friends. We are going to have a quick chitty chat tonight because I am feeling rough. Uh, depending on how this progresses, you may not see me tomorrow. I started feeling bad about five. It's now, I don't know, like 10 to 10. And uh, it's not improving. So there is a possibility that you won't see me tomorrow. Um, okay. Today, food-wise, was disappointing all the way around. So, breakfast was super, super straightforward, but I definitely 
I'm not a fan of that Ezekiel Brit. Certainly not for the price that it is. Um, it is... <laughs> and if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I'm not a picky food person. <laughs> but mm -mm. I like... I like the Simple Truth range, which is 70 calories a slice. That's 80 calories a slice. I can get their Ancient Grains or their Multi-Seed Loaf, and I much, much prefer that. Um, so, yes. It was okay, but I'm I'm kind of done with, with that bread now. I actually gave the rest of it to my dogs. <laughs> they were thrilled. Um, lunch. You saw? Mm. No. Just no. And I didn't have anything like after that. But, and I was just kind of like, mm, I don't want anything. And then it kept getting later and it kept getting later. And it got on to dinner. And I needed something easy, which was fine. But that... The sauce is okay, but it is very salty without a lot of flavor, which sounds like a weird combination, but yeah, it, I, I bought it to try. I tried it. It's okay. Um, I didn't even save the other half of it. I just threw it out. It was, it was, it was not something I would want to eat again, and I definitely wouldn't buy it again. So overall, Wah, wah, wah. Okay. The plan for tomorrow was, and I have a feeling that this is not going to happen. The plan was that I was going to try to go to get out, to go to town, to go to Sandy's, to go to the post office who is currently holding all of my Amazon deliveries for me. Um, there was a, I, this has been like a weird delivery week. I got a call on Friday. So today's Monday. I got a call on Friday that the dog food that I had ordered was in Withful, which from here is like 90 minutes away. And they wanted to organize delivery. And I called back, but I called too late. And then they weren't there over the weekend. I was like, okay. So I called today. And she's like, can you get a, can we get a 48 foot tractor trailer down your driveway? Uh, no, I have UPS drivers that can't turn around in my driveway in, you know, like a big UPS truck. There's no way you're going to get a tractor trailer. A, you don't need to be trying to drive this windy stretch to even get remotely close to me and B, you'd never get in my driveway. And I don't know why they would, A, I don't know why Tractor Supply didn't send it by UPS or FedEx. I don't know why it's trying to go through a consignment company. I don't know why they thought they were going to have to de deliver three bags of dog food. That's all it is. I figured if they're going to deliver it anyway, let me order some extras. I can keep them. They can deliver them. And I ordered bags that are too big for me to handle. They're 55 pound bags. I can't lift that. So she was like, well, can you meet the driver somewhere? And I'm thinking, uh, I could drive all the way into town, but if I was going to do that, I wouldn't have ordered the food because the whole plan was that having somebody deliver it means that they can put it on my porch, which means that I don't have to try and struggle getting it in out of my car when I've lived by myself. So anyway, it turns out that I have to have it delivered to the store and my closest store is 40 to 45 minutes away, which is why I didn't go in all this mess to go get it anyway. I ordered this food on the 10th and Today is the 25th, and it's still not here. My dogs have been out of dry dog food since the 12th, and so they are eating like kings. <laughs> I went through my freezer and anything that was kind of starting to look a little bit freezer burned or a little bit questionable or I didn't mind giving to them. I've been making them um, 
brown rice and vegetables and then whatever I sort of pulled out of the freezer. So <clears throat> they don't mind that they haven't had dry kibble, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so that's now not going to be delivered. That's going to be delivered to the store and I have to figure out how to A, get there because my roads are still icky and B, even if the guys put it in my car for me, I can't get it out when I get here. So I have to have somebody come meet me here or follow me home or something. I'm going to call my cousin. I'm going to see if she can bring the farm truck. We can throw it in the back of the farm truck. I'll see if she'll help me get it out. So I was like, okay, but then, but wait, there's more. So the, my instant pot, the, the chef IQ, which is the, the brand that I use, which is very similar. I decided to order an extra pot liner for that. And that shipped and it was showing being tracked on UPS. And I was like, okay, great. And I got a message today that said, your order is available for pickup. And I was like, pickup, uh, why are you not delivering it? And for whatever reason, and nobody can tell me, and I didn't do it. My order got switched to my closest UPS store, which I now have to go drive and get. The store just happens to be, so Tractor Supply, where I have to go get the dog food, is 40 minutes in, say, that direction. The UPS store is 30 minutes in that direction. So my rural little post office has my Amazon packages that I haven't been able to get because they wouldn't deliver to my porch or my back gate or anything else. This is what I told you the other night they had left tied to my mailbox at the bottom of my road. And my post office very nicely picked up and took back to the post office for me so they didn't get stolen. So I have like packages there that are in the little, the, the little tiny town, the little t that I live in. And I need to go there, but then I have to go pick up a UPS package 30 minutes this way. But then I have to get somebody to help me go get dog food 40 minutes this way. So I was going to try tomorrow to go do a shop at Kroger because I haven't been shopping since the 7th and today's the 25th. So we're, we're, you know, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, and then I was going to stop by Sandy's and make sure she was okay. But I tell you. I feel like book. So if I feel like this in the morning, I'm not going anywhere. All my packages can just sit until I feel some semblance of normality. And there is a storm coming. It's calling for rain and snow. The temperature is called to drop again, which probably means that all the slush that's already there is going to then refreeze, which means that I'll be here even longer. Ta-da! Okay. Happy, happy update. All right. So, let's do our card. Oh, speaking of cards, the new decks arrive tomorrow. I have no idea where they're going to go. Because if UPS won't bring them to my porch or whatever, then I, I don't know. They'll put them in my mailbox or tie them to my mailbox. And Courtney will probably take them back to the post office for me guess. So, uh, we'll have new cards at some point when I can get them. Okay. Oh, goodness me. All right. Letting go. It's a short one tonight. Letting go. I don't dwell on bad things that happened. I let things go because I have enough heavy things to carry around. And also, grudges aren't a great look. This is true. Okay, so your vibe for tomorrow. What do you need to let go of? What do, what are you hanging on to that is not benefiting you? that is not part of your success, that is not part of your positivity or productivity. 
what do you need to let go of? All right, that's me. I'm gonna go. I will see you guys maybe tomorrow, if not Wednesday. Okay, have a good night.